Good evening guys. So I'm actually here at um, my little side counter um, with my camera here. I'm going to show you what I got. Um, my little work area is actually full of stuff. I've actually been really, really busy. Um, but I did have some errands to run this morning, unfortunately, and then I got like super sick, but ugh, too much information there. So I'm feeling a little better and I wanted to show you guys what I got today because I did get a few goodies in the mail. And I also went to Joann's. Um, so I'm going to try to show you the Joann's bag first. With my Pepsi here. And so I apologize that we're free-handed. I was taking some other pictures um, through the house. So. <clears throat> so this is just a little container, little pink containers. I got these to organize my Glimmer Mist because it's just like in a big drawer and it's like all over the place. So that's that. I got, I'm just pulling stuff out. This was in the little dollar bin up at front, and it's like a raven and like a fence there. It's by Inka Dinka Doo. Thought that was so cute for Halloween, and this is the last one in the little bucket, so. And then just, you know, fun stuff, quick dry adhesive. I love this stuff, so I needed to get, um, some more. I'm losing it. My head doesn't work. My brain does not work at all. And then again, refills. Needed refills. For that. I'm going to go in a semi. Oh, and I got these Cutter B scissors. I just happened to see those. They weren't actually on my list, but I got them anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So hilarious because I went to the craft store. I went to Joanne's with a budget. And I totally blew that budget by... <laughs> Over $30, I'll put it that way. But, amusingly enough, I went to the grocery store and it was under my budget for $5. Hilarious, right? Alright. And then I know you guys know Rage 0113. I think it's 0113. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I know it's Rage. Um, she's been doing some great work with um, uh, Fimo Clay. So I wanted to try that. So I got these little tools which are just the little cutter thingies. And then I got some Perfect Pearls. These are my first Perfect Pearls. I've never had Perfect Pearls. I got these to add to, you know, the clay. And then I just got a couple. Like, this is a this is the cheaper brand oven baked clay. So I'm going to give it a try. And this is black. And then I got some purple. And then I got some kind of a beigey, beigey cream. And then I did get one thing of the Fimo Soft in black. They had a really big one, but I didn't want to get a big one because I'm not sure, you know, how, how much I like this technique. And then I also got the Far East Matte Stack. I've been wanting it, um, so I did go ahead and get that. And then I also got this one, which is new to me. This is Midnight Smell. Smell. <laughs> That's appropriate for Halloween. Midnight Spell. And this is so cute. They had the big stack too, but I couldn't really think that the big stack would be really, really useful. And I definitely have got to be, you know, very budget conscious currently. Until I start back to work. Really, even when I start back to work. But how cute is that? Trick or treat, those little monsters are so cute. And then there's a house in here. That one's pretty cool too. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. And there's this house. How cute is that? Okay. <clears throat> so that's all my stuff from Joann's. Oh, sorry. And then I got this. I, did, I left that out. This little thing. And I'm going to use that on some tags I'm making. Alright, so what else? What else? What else? Okay. Let me show you what I got from this lady off of Etsy. And this stuff is so cool. And I hope I can do this one hand. Anyway, here's her little card that she sent me. Steampunk Supply. Brenda, and let me put it up close. She's actually at steampunkjunksupply.etsy.com. So, that was really cool. And this is what I got. Actually, I left my chain over there. Alright, don't get sick, guys. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I know that was so unpleasant. As was that. Wow. And put you guys down. 
so I got this chain. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. And my throat is like all over the place. It's gonna be like a horrible video. Okay. I thought I was prepared. I'm obviously not prepared. Okay, so this is what I got. I got this chain, which this is called Sherlock Holmes. And it's like really. big loose things there and then okay so I started out I got these little the key in the little heart locket and I did start out with these they came 10 in a pack both of the key and the thing but I only have one left now actually two keys because somehow she found a key but anyway because I actually have already made my stuff with those <coughs> and I will show those to you later and then she gave me some extras which is this little chain and this little locket and then this little elephant which is so cute and then another little locket another little chain and this big key so those are all extras that she added in for me which was super super sweet <coughs> alright so there's all that but again I've already made what I was making with that so I'm so excited I'm hopefully gonna get those finished and show you later um, because they're going into my August mini album swap that I'm doing with Bona. Well, not with Bona, but she's hosting it. And then there's some other ladies in it. I think Bona's in a different group. But anyway, and I'm almost finished with my painting, which is like so exciting. All right, so what else do I got? Okay, so this is like mega, mega exciting, okay? Because I was in like a total eBay <laughs> bidding war, which doesn't really happen very often, but I really wanted this. And. Um, it's a Sizzix die. It's no longer made. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Oh, it's the envelope, Manila envelope die. So what actually happened was I was in this bidding war for like, it got up to like $45, okay? Actually, I think it was like $43.50 or something. I don't remember. And I was like, God, I cannot pay $43 for this die. So I let the other lady win it, or whoever was bidding on it, she got it, which is fine. And I just was like, I'll keep an eye out, no big deal. And then I actually found it on a website that said they had it. And then when I actually ordered it, and they never got back to me and blah, 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 whatever. So it was like a week. And then I called them, and they didn't really have it in stock. It was just on their site. So that kind of stunk, but, you know, I let it go, and I thought, well, it's just not meant to be, whatever. And then, you know, when you buy, like, so much on eBay, they send you the little eBay reminders of, like, what to get, blah, 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 blah. So they sent me this, and this was on it, and this one is a gently used one. Whoops. This one is a gently used one, so whoever... I can't, um, I shouldn't say whoever, I can't remember her name, um, but I did get this room, it was gently used, and so I got a really good price on it, didn't go into a bidding crazy war, so I'm really excited that I got it. Okay, so enough of me jibber jabbering. I'm already at like eight minutes of me probably making you guys see sick. Anyway, okay, so then this is the pink HEG gun. I don't have an HEG gun. Um... I did go ahead and buy this one. I'm hoping that it's going to be, you know, work well and be good and whatever. Um, and I got this. I had pre-ordered this forever ago from Carlene, the pink scrapper, um, that I'm sure you all know. So I'm excited to get that and try it. And then this is all from Seven Kids College Fund. Seven, I think it's Seven Kids College Fund. Anyway, but I got some cut and dry stamp foam pad. I want to try that. So I've been using makeup sponges, which they work alright, but they kind of, the ones I have kind of lose, like the little stuff falls off. And I got this shrink film. I saw this really cool video the other day and she shrunk it down. It was so cute. You know, I remember this when we were kids anyway, but I thought I would try this. This is the white one. So I'm going to try to stamp on it and then shrink it down and see how that goes. It's going to be cute. And then I needed just one, uh, I needed some easy foam to mount some stamps I got last week. And then I got Edward. How cute is he? I don't have any boy greeting farms, so this is so cute. He's so cute. Got some Sequane Score Pal tape at a half an inch. 
And then I got Snow White, which I think she's a Craft and Kimmy stamp. Snow White, I really like her. I love Snow White, so that's cute. And then I got these Tim Holtz scissors, and these are going to be used. Um, I have a pair of scissors to cut out my stamped images on my, you know, on the Easy Foam. And they get pretty gunky, so I'm going to keep those as that. And this is going to be, you know, my specialty special cutting scissors as well as the Cutter Bees, so. Because um, they're like the two best scissors I have now because my other scissors are kind of um, not that great. So, anyway, so that's it, you guys. That's all I got. Hopefully I'll be back later to um, share what I made um, yesterday and kind of finishing up and stuff. So, Thanks for hanging out and watching, and I'm sorry it was all over the place. And if I made any of you guys seasick, I don't know how that goes. And I'll see you later. Bye.